Assalamu alaikum and hello. My name is Sishan Hassan and I am the tutor of SBL from accountancy.com. In this video, I am going to discuss the exam tips for June 2022 exams. So, uh, firstly, let us discuss the, some very important tips and suggestions for you from the examiner, latest examiner report. Uh, firstly, examiner did complain that mostly answers very disappointed, especially those who were flunked. Uh, examiner told that uh, weaker candidates uh, mostly copied and pasted the large parts of the exhibit material into their answers and then failed to adequately integrate or apply this material to the task being examined. Okay weaker examined uh, ex uh, candidates also used pre-learned knowledge you know that's uh, the road that that road learning stuff uh, as the basis for their answers which were unacceptable until or unless you will integrate them or apply to the scenario which i always uh, experience in my classes as well uh, that you should not only write those uh, basic knowledge Further, um, so what you should do uh, before starting your time, you should uh, spend sufficient time for the planning to ensure that your answers are structured log logically balanced in terms of the depth of the discussion required with the breadth of the points to be made covering the most important points. Uh, not padded out with material that does not address the task requirements as this does not score any marks uh, not making the same point repetitively and you should avoid overlapping candidates in most cases who failed their exams why did failed a poor level of technical knowledge not answering the question that had been asked wasting time making irrelevant points lack of analysis demonstrated through an inability to select and then appropriately use the most relevant information to answer the task requirements uh, a lack of development of the points made that is not fully explaining why the point was relevant important to task requirements lack of commercial acumen uh, failure to respond to the requirements in a professional commercially sound manner failure to provide everything that the requirement uh, specified so examiner said it was most disappointing that in many cases uh, students candidates had simply not read the question requirement carefully enough and therefore failed to answer the question that had been set this shows clearly the poor examination technique and lack of professionalism uh, as I also uh, explained earlier F to gain the technical marks what you need to do uh, address the requirements of the task considering the scope of answer required and that what the question verb indicated should be provided applied it uh, you can apply that to the uh, September 21 question of uh, Optima company where uh, Optima and its environment presented in the case study material. Where uh, specific to the discussion or issue covered in the task requirement showed the marker why the point mean being made was significant relevant in the circumstances described. Okay, so <clears throat> Let us talk about a little bit about uh, professional skill marks. Many candidates clearly thought about professional skill marks and attempted to present their answers in an appropriate format. Uh, so when whatever the format requested, the recipient will help by the answer that is presented and structured clearly the headers through the answer and which avoids over long paragraphs or paragraphs of repetitive information. What were the common faults in the professional skill marks? Not paying attention to the format required. For example, you can watch that in question 4 of the September 21 past paper, which should have been presented as a report. Some candidates presented as an essay format. Well, really disappointing. Not considering who was receiving the document produced, for example, uh, in question 1, 
candidates were asked to demonstrate communication skills by concisely informing the board members of Optima uh, of the strategic importance in its uh, social responsibility activities. So it was clear that many candidates did not consider their presentation was for board members as the tone and content was often not appropriate. Another reason for losing the marks. Poor tone and comments made, for example, making it inappropriate judgment and challenge for the opinions of the board members in question 3 and B, uh, where spectacism was tested. Uh, failing to demonstrate sound commercial acumen when considering the significance of customers' segmentation and most appropriate types of uh, customer segmentation for Optima. Many candidates demonstrated a poor grasp of the com uh, commercial position of Optima. So these were the some uh, mistakes or the faults made by the candidates uh, specified by the SBL examiner in the latest examiner report which I highlighted for you so that you still have uh, some days to uh, learn the appropriate technique for your exam. Okay, now uh, let's come to the exam tips uh, or the expected topics uh, should i say well uh, strategic uh, i mean <coughs> pastel analysis or port of five forces port of type diamond uh, performance management um, risk analysis you know the tara model important one e marketing e business can be there uh, along with the financial analysis which includes the ratios analysis quantitative analysis or some budgeting part can be there okay uh, report style writing a letter to the ceo or uh, they should or they can be a, some ppt's uh, presentation can be there so these are my tips and uh, but in the end i would say that uh, do revise each and everything in your uh, revision but do not ignore those areas especially which i told you and uh, one more thing must do read latest two examiner reports as well although i highlighted some points for your uh, reference from the latest examiner report but you should read latest two examiner reports as well um, I wish you all very, very good luck for your upcoming exam and uh, we'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.